Uh, as you can see, I've already marked the area we're going to work on first. Uh, this is a male chest. We'll start, we're going to start here, and then we're also going to do flanks. The first step in the process is to numb one little spot that we're going to do all of our work through. It might feel a little stick. Through that tiny little opening that we made right there, we're going to do all of our work. And that's so small that when we get done, we don't even put stitches in. We leave it open and it will close on its own within just a couple of days. So the next step then is to, through the little opening, is to put the numbing medicine in the rest of the area. And this is done with this tiny little, what we call cannula, or little tube, and goes right underneath the skin. And then that delivers numbing, the numbing medicine. This is called a tumescent solution, and, or it's liposuction under tumescence. As you can see, as it goes under the skin, it just kind of swells up a little bit, and that's normal. So now we have all the numbing fluid placed. We've waited just a, a little while here for that to take effect. And so now we're ready to move on to the uh, next step, which is the smart lipo laser portion of the procedure. This is the tube that will go through the tiny little opening like we uh, did with the numbing medication. You can see how tiny it is. It's actually even smaller than what we use for the numbing medication. And at the very tip here um, is where the laser comes out, um, the energy from the laser. And so we'll be placing this through the opening. We'll laser all of the fatty tissue in the area. So here we are starting to put the laser through the opening. And it's just a slow, gentle process. I know exactly where I am because I can see that red light through the skin. And that means we're in the right spot. It's very superficial. We're not going down deep. So we know, you know, we're not injuring any structures underneath the fatty tissue. I said it's just a slow, gentle process. And then on the laser machine itself, it's telling me how much heat or how much energy I'm putting in. So I can keep track of that. And that helps us prevent uh, getting any burns or introducing too much energy into a small area. And this helps melt the fat. Uh, it'll also do a little bit of skin tightening. Uh, helps lay down some collagen uh, after a couple of months. So it's a great device. And, um, and then we'll show you later on, uh, actually we'll do a little bit of suctioning on top of this. What we've done is we completed the suction portion of the male chest that we showed you earlier with the laser. We've now flipped the patient over onto his stomach, um, already numbed the little spot, made the opening, put the numbing medica medication in, did the laser, and now the second part of the procedure is um, where we actually do a little bit of suctioning of that fat that we've loosened up. You don't have to do this part. It can all be done with laser, um, but this just gets us a much nicer result. Um, this is called power-assisted liposuction. Uh, this is a very small tube, as you can see. It is a little bit larger than what we did to numb, or the laser, but it's still small. Um, a lot of people have seen maybe liposuction on YouTube or TV, and the regular liposuction tubes uh, or cannulas that they use are much, uh, have a much bigger diameter. Um, they cause a little more trauma, a lot more trauma actually than this. So there's much more bruising and discomfort after the procedure than there is doing it uh, with smart lipo and uh, power assisted liposuction. So this is, uh, we're suctioning, and as I mentioned, this is the tubing, and the yellow that you see in the tubing is the fat cells being taken out of the um, area that we're working on and will be disposed of later. These will never grow back in your body. <laughs>